Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's video is a video that a lot of you have been requesting for a really long time and it's all about integrating Payhip with WordPress. And to those of you who don't know one or both of these names, Payhip is an amazing online platform where you can basically open your own shop to sell digital download items, aka printables, clip arts, courses, audio files, whatever product type that people just give you the money and then they get a file or several files to download. It's not competing with Etsy in any way in terms of a marketplace. People don't go to Payhip to buy stuff, but instead it gives you an instant shop to build yourself to sell things online and you get basically your shop's name's link right after payhip.com slash and then your shop. On the other side, we have WordPress. And WordPress is an amazing platform for you to build websites by yourselves or blogs. And I know a lot of people who have been using blogs to promote their print on demand or their digital download businesses, especially if you want to give freebies. And I did have a tutorial about that. I had a full tutorial on how to build a blog to basically give freebies to support your Etsy store, wherever it is you're selling printables. So for example, if you're selling a printable planner bundle kit, like a, a lot of planner pages that go together, you can have a blog that gives one page of that planner for free and a link to Etsy where you're selling it. Same with coloring pages. You can have a full printable coloring book of 25 pages and then give out one or two pages for free on your blog and send traffic to Etsy to buy the rest. The thing is, you can also send traffic to Payhip to buy the rest and actually with Payhip you can also full on give that one free item to people. But if you don't want to trust that people will be in your blog and then you know they have to go to your Payhip store to buy stuff because a lot of people don't really feel comfortable going into different links if they just saw your blog, you can actually have your Payhip products featured on your WordPress website or blog just like that. And that's exactly what I want to show you guys today. And for that purpose, I'm going to make myself smaller so you guys can see my screen. We are now on Payhip, on a Payhip account that I set up for a coloring project that I never done anything with. I was thinking about using my own Payhip for that, but my own Payhip has some emails from the people who previously supported the channel before I did the buy me a coffee thing. So I'm just going to use a blank Payhip account that has one product. And I just want to show you this product. Let's just go to my store. It was actually built during a tutorial. I will leave a link to that tutorial, the full tutorial about how to use Payhip to sell digital downloads in the description down below. But what I have here now is basically information about me. This is a place for all of your product and I have the Mandela coloring book. And here I have Miss Jigsaw and this is your first glimpse into the new project that I'm working on to basically do jigsaw puzzles online. If you guys are interested in having a look-see, it's gonna be built further in the next few days, but these are actually my own illustrations turned into online jigsaw puzzles and it's kind of fun. And I will be monetizing it with ads as well as directly sending traffic to my designs on Society6 or TeePublic. But let's for a second imagine that this is the website that I wanna integrate something with my Payhip account. So. I'm going to go to this blog post and I'm going to edit it with Elementor because that's how it's built while also going back to my Payhip account to the main page where I have my products. Here on the side I have a share and embed option so this is a direct link to go to this listing. I have an embed button that when you get this code you can actually have just a buy button but that's not something that I like to use. What I like to use is the embed page option, which gives you a piece of code right here. So I tapped on everything and I'm gonna do Command C, which is copy, and I'm gonna go to Elementor, and let's say I want to be using this part here. Let me just duplicate it for me because I don't wanna actually lose information on my website. And let's say that this part over here, I want to have my product. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just delete this so you can see all together. I have a blank Elementor space. I'm gonna go to all my elements, choose the text editor. You can also choose the HTML, I can do it with a text editor. Click on text here, select everything and copy the piece of code. And after we pasted it, you can see three dots here in the corner. And just don't forget to update, <laughs> otherwise it's not gonna save anything and you're not gonna see it right here on the page. 
But if I'm going to go to the actual page and refresh the page, when I scroll down, voila, printable Mandela coloring book. And when I click on buy now, the purchase page is actually going to be opened within your WordPress. People are not going to be taken to Payhip, which is extremely important when we're talking about consumerism behavior and how much people don't want to be taken to a different page when they're paying because then they feel weird. And when you pay here, when your clients pay here with a credit card or with PayPal, that could be an amazing thing for you guys. All you have to do for this is to pay 5% fee to Payhip because their service is free and PayPal fees if you're working with PayPal. Just reminding you guys that Payhip also has two more options that are not free, the $29 and the $99. You get all the same features as you do with the free account. The only difference is the commission you're going to have to pay per sale. So if you're starting out with the $0 and you have 5% transaction fee, if you're selling a lot, pay them $29 a month to pay 2% transaction fee. And if you pay them $99 a month, you will have no transaction fees taken from them only from PayPal. If you work with PayPal, they have a really awesome service and there is a link to Payhip down below in the description so you can go ahead and check them out. The option that I just did, the way that I put this within the code, can also be done with the website's sidebar. And let me just quickly create a sidebar because we don't have any sidebar here. So if I'm going to customization and I go to my blog settings for blog entries and typing in right sidebar for my blog. Now I will have a sidebar here that's basically been taken from the template because I have not been working on a sidebar at all. But when I'm going to click on editing my sidebar, I can just add an HTML code, custom HTML, go down, paste the code, publish this. And then when I go to Miss Jigsaw, to my blog area. I have down below the option to purchase a Mandela coloring book from the sidebar. This is pretty easy, super cool. Just grab a piece of code from the share and embed button that you have on your products. Here, embed page, grab all of this code, control A, control C, and then control V whenever we have a piece of HTML text on our WordPress. But I think we're pretty much done with my screen, so let's just get back to full size me, because there is a lot more to be said about this. I mean, there are so many things that you could be doing now with a blog to basically blog for free about stuff and then tell people, you know, they can buy the extended version with Payhip. To have a blog, let's say you're a coach or anything else and you want to sell personal items of yours, like a personal planner that you're using, or your financial Excel sheets for managing one's finances or anything that you want to sell as a digital file can be instantly placed within your WordPress blog. If you like this video and found this content useful, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video, I'm going to show it to more people. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I'm reminding you because we're still settling into this channel's new schedule that every Tuesday I'll be here at 7 p.m. Bulgaria time to talk to you guys about something relating to digital downloads. I have so many digital downloads ideas, whether it's products or platforms, and I just can't wait. Our Wednesdays, which is tomorrow, are actually preserved for people who are selling print on demand because I'm going to do print on demand product reviews from places like Redbubble and Society6, marketplaces that sell a lot of these to a lot of people and are super easy to set up, but also from platforms and websites and suppliers that don't have a marketplace like Finerworks and Printful and Printify and Guten. So many products coming our way. And tomorrow, I'll be hosting YouTuber Karin Prater in my channel to review two Redbubble mugs that we got from my own shop, and I hope that you guys are going to like it. Thursday, we're going to have a special day of print on demand, and this time I'll be sharing with you guys designs that I've ordered from people from Fiverr and whether or not I'm going to be using them in my own print on demand shops. And Friday is shop reviews. So feel free to check out a link down below in the description to a Google form where you can go in and anonymously submit your shops. Etsy, Society6, Redbubble, T-Chip, T-Public, uh, pay it. <laughs> Shopify, WooCommerce, wherever it is that you're selling your print on demand or printable items, and I'll be happy to review them every single Friday. If you have any more questions about Payhip or how you can basically be utilizing it with your blog, 
in terms of both sides, I mean, you have a blog about something and you want to know what kind of products you can put on PayHip to monetize your blog. Or you have digital products and you want to know what to blog about to promote them. Either way, please leave a detailed comment down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to assist you further. And with that being said, that was it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!